So this is a portion of our map, and it's a gross depiction of part of the route we're going to take. Now, the bone and brain have clearly been removed here, but let's just from uh, this position descend down a little bit. So we're just moving our perspective slightly inferior. Um, and now we can add the bone back in. Okay, so here we are. This is the posterior fossa over here. And here we have the middle fossa and the anterior fossa over here. We're looking into the middle fossa here. So do you think this is a left or a right side? What do you think? Yeah, so most of you are right. This is indeed a right side. So this is an anterolateral view of midline right side skull base. So this is the right middle fossa. So this is kind of, this is an extradural perspective of the right middle fossa. This is an, actually an intradural perspective of the posterior fossa because you can see the dura here has been left intact, where the dura here has been removed. This is a white covering. So all of that is intact. You can see it was cut right along the midline, right here in the anterior skull base. So before we move on, let's orient ourselves with this image. So this direction here is anterior. So this is going towards the nose. This is posterior, going towards the back of the head, the occiput. Um, <clears throat> this is our midline. So right in the midline here, we have the pituitary gland. So this is true midline skull base. And as we move in this direction, we're moving lateral towards the ear. Up here, this is superior, and down in this direction would be inferior, and then this would be lateral on the left side. So this is all the right side, this is the left side, mostly intradural here, the dura has been removed, so we're extradural and anterior. And we're looking slightly down onto the right side uh, of the middle fossa floor. Now let's look at that in relation to the bone that we just uh, looked at a few, a few minutes ago. Um, so don't be confused by all of the additional structures that were added in. It's the same um, bony anatomy that you're very familiar with. Um, and so again, we have the nose, the vertex, the ear, and the occiput. And so let's identify these surroundings quickly before we journey through the vasculature so we can correlate what, what we see uh, later on. So this uh, is a very important bony structure we saw on the dry skull. This is the anterior clinoid process. And the carotid here is coming up just underneath the clinoid. So this becomes very important for accessing the clinoid surgically. We also have the, the optic nerve running right here. There's our anterior clinoid processes. This is the anterior surface of the petrous portion of the temporal bone. The petrous apex is highlighted in yellow. Now, let's move forward by peeling away the epineurium that's covering the nerves here. Hey everyone, Ryan Rad here from neurosurgerytraining.org. If you like that video, subscribe and donate to keep our content available for medical students across the world.